Hello everybody, Hoist here from Streak. welcome to another video. And today we're going to be answering a very important question that literally no one is asking. And that is, can you shoot down an AWACS with harms? Now for the uninitiated, the AWACS is the Airborne Early Warning and Control System, which is basically a huge radar dish with a plane strapped to it. But the weapon we're going to be using are the AGM-88 harms, or the high-speed anti-radiation missiles, which are used, well, for their name is quite self-explanatory. They home in on radiation, which is radar. So they're used to destroy radar sites, SAM sites, and so forth. Now our victim for today is going to be the Chinese KJ-2000 AWACS. And let's see if we can get this done. Now our contestants for today are going to be the F-16 Viper, the F-18 Hornet, and the Eurofighter Typhoon. Now I realize that most uh, DCS players, and actually anybody who's ever used harms in real life, have probably the exact same reaction to what I've just said, and that would be this. <laughs> Now I realize the absurdity of this video, I realize how stupid this is, but just for fun, let's give it a try. So first up we have the F-16 Viper with its powerful harm targeting pod. Now let's see if we can find it at all. It's somewhere over there. We have a slight um, altitude advantage, but Datalink can't really see it and definitely don't have it on the harm targeting pod on the head. So so we can find it visually it's going to be leaving a contrail because it's at about 30 something thousand feet okay we have it on data link now it's right down there there we go, 31,000 feet, but still can't find it on the harm targeting pod. Hmm. It's about uh, 50 miles out. Let's see if we can find them visually. Somewhere. Nope, not yet. Alright, let's see. Oh, there he is. He is right there. Right there. Let's change course a little bit. Oh. There we go. Alright, come on, targeting pod. Get him. Get him. It is not getting it. It's not finding him which means I can't fire the harms. Yep. Let's see now. Got him here locked on the HSD, but nope, nope. Harms are not gonna lock on. There is visual range, and there is absolutely nothing I can do with these harms. It is not letting me do it. And... Not gonna happen. Well, all right, let's see. We can try a different plane. Next up, we have the F-18 Hornet. It's gonna be using um, 
target of opportunity mode. See if we can find it that way. It's somewhere over in that direction. Yeah, we also have a height, a, an altitude advantage on this one. Let's see what happens. Nothing can see it. I have data link on, but nah. Can't find it. Let's see how this goes. We are about 50 miles out and still can't see a thing. Still blind as a bat. Harms are crossed out, can't fire them, didn't find a target at all. So let's see if we can get a little closer if that helps. There it is, tally, visual range, right there, and harms still blind as a bat. But I think the Hornet could actually fire them. No, I can't. Still nothing. He's right there, and the harms can't see a thing, which is not surprising. Alright, next up is the Eurofighter Typhoon, which is a mod in this game. And um, as such, doesn't have such a sophisticated um, targeting system, especially with the harms. Now, the way the harms work is you set up air to ground, choose air to ground, get launch authorization, and then you fire off harms in the general direction of whatever you're shooting at, and the harms will guide themselves to the target. Now, our target is in this general direction over here somewhere. He's going to be coming in kind of from that direction and he's gonna be crossing our nose at some point so we're just gonna wait until we have visual and then we're gonna fire off some harms to see what happens so we've changed our heading slightly uh, to try and intercept him we do have an altitude advantage. We're sitting at 40,000 feet. He's at his usual 31, 32,000. And uh, let's just see if we can find him and shoot off some harms and see if that will work. We have launch authorization, so as soon as we get visual, we can fire off harms. A few moments later. There we go, tally. We have visual. There he is right there. And we are you know, within about 30 miles, so... Let's give him two harms, shall we? Magnum times two. There we go. They're tracking. Let's see what happens. Come on. Come on, buddy. Hit him. Get him, get him, get him. And that's going to be a miss. Yeah. Yeah, they're not maneuverable enough. What the harms do is they will dive onto a target. So, yeah. Not going to work. Well, that didn't work. Harms are not maneuverable enough to get... to hit the target from the side because it's moving too fast. And they are slow, non you know, not maneuverable missiles. So let's see we can get him from directly behind. Alright, attempt number two. We are right on his tail, about 30 miles. There he is right there. 
And we have a launch authorization, which is going to wait till we get a little bit closer. And see if we can hit him this way. Let's burn a little bit. Alright, we're about 15 miles out, and Magnum times 2. Let's see if that works. There we go, it's on its way. Let's see if it'll hit anything. Although I'm not optimistic at all. And is doing the same thing. It is just diving down and missing him that way. So that didn't work. Alright, well, let's can try one more thing. Let's try it from the front. Nose to nose. So we're about we're about fifty miles out and um, we can just no we can't see him yet, but let's see if we can hit him from the front. Alright. That's Magnum times two. Let's see if they hit anything. They might hit something. Uh, okay, this one's gonna m miss, but that lower one might actually hit. Might hit. Let's see what happens. Oh. Looks like a good track. Might hit something here. Might hit something here. There we go. Almost. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Get him. So there we go. We've shown that it's possible to shoot down an AWACS with um, with harms. Not that you would ever want to or need to, but it can be done. And that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And see you all again in a future video.